upset a lot of people. This is a free country. Uh, was he allowed to say what he said? Should he have been able to say what he said, Frank? Absolutely. I think that it's perfectly OK to hate. I mean, I'm sure that everybody in this room uh, hates something, and a lot of people are hesitant about expressing their hatred for certain phenomena, because these days, the, the very emotion of hate, which is a very natural human emotion, has been criminalized in a number, number of areas, unfortunately, in the society. Myself, I think the reaction to Clarkson is worse than what Clarkson did, because Clarkson just wrote a stupid article. He expressed himself in a very clumsy, uh, unhelpful kind of a way. It was a really bad journalism, very childish, very infantile. But the reaction to it, you know, I'm offended, I'm hurt, I'm traumatized, that becomes the norm. I mean, and if we allow a situation where people's uh, emotional reaction to articles and, and other kind of communications can be used to uh, force people to censor their words or to write differently, then we've got a big problem. And I was really disappointed that Clarkson, who I thought I had a bit of a backbone, then apologized. I think, you know, the apology rolling over under pressure well, he, he, is he the norm. Shy, he, he stopped shy of apologising. I'll read you what he said. He said this on Twitter. This is Clarkson. He went, oh, dear. I put it on screen, by the way, in case you're watching, not listening. He says, oh, dear. I'd rather put my foot in it. In a column, I wrote about Meghan, and I made a clumsy reference to a scene in Games of Thrones, and this has not... Sorry, this has gone down badly with a great many people. I'm horrified to have caused so much hurt, and I shall be more careful in future. So he kind of stopped short, really. It wasn't yeah. full on, oh, my God, I'm so sorry, was it? It was, it was a, a bit of an apology. I mean, Clarkson is very different than most people are. He's too uh, uh, self-centred to be totally apologetic. But nevertheless, I think that has gone a long way towards that. And it's, but he signals the message that because some people are upset by it, he has got to uh, censor his ideas. He's got to talk differently. I, as a sociologist, are off offend people all the time. That's part of my, my job, is to offend people, to question and to criticise. If every time people react against my words, I'm going to hide in a cave and apologise, then I think my life as an academic, as an intellectual, is going to be short-circuited and it becomes a really boring public life that I have to I've lead. I've got a question.